What's up, Brian? Said so you have something for me? I do indeed. Here you go. Nice, man. <sighs> hashtag cats. Hashtag hilarious. Hashtag why do they hate cucumbers? strategy DA thank you Jordan shoots a high percentage from the field you can't fault him for using that logic and here in the early part of the season Steve when you played did you have a favorite part of the regular season I did I think right around all-star break and after Jazz making a switch here DJ's checked in now about two minutes gone here in the first quarter taking a look at the Jazz the tough defending favors and Gobert make up the big men Adney Hood out there with DJ, and it's Ingles in at the three, the small forward. And the Jazz pushing it up now. Hood kicks to Favors, shoots over Griffin. Favors can't get it to go. Los Angeles has gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Outside Williams. Jordan sets the pick for Williams. Gallinari outside. Six to shoot. Williams dishes to Griffin. Great D that time from Favor. How many times have you seen him do that? Lose and focus on a simple lay-in. Ingles can't get it to go. The bucket just not well protected, but still he doesn't convert too often. That's been the story with him. And again, no good by the Clippers. Jazz have gone six of nine, shooting it well. 153 left to play in the first quarter. EJ passes to Gobert. And boy, that looked like goaltending. Yes, it is. And so they will award the basket there. So close to getting the block there. You, you can live with those calls because you'd rather have a guy playing aggressive instead of playing it safe. Here's what the Clippers are going with right now. Reed is checked in for Jordan. Sam Decker comes in for Gallinari. Austin Rivers, he's checked in for Williams. And Teodosic subbed in for Patrick Beverly. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. And the versatility Johnson offers, it can't be. Quarter number two with just over a minute gone. So on the floor for Utah. Ricky Rubio is out there with DJ. Then there's Favors. Then it's Joe Ingles. And it's Yurebko in at the four. Outside Favors. And Rubio kicks to DJ. Fires from the corner. 
Another shot stolen by Rivers. And here we go. Fast break. Beverly's got it. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single-digit lead. Such a hounding defender. Beverly timing the steal and initiating the break. You think back to the start of Austin Rivers' NBA career and you see just how far he's come as a player. Has always had the physical skills and speed, but has made big leaps, I think, Steve, in his play. You know what? You're right, Kevin. Looking back at his rookie year, he just seemed overwhelmed. But now he's on the floor. He looks in complete control. Game has slowed down for him. He has become a much more efficient player. He has a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, we know the Clippers are one of the best teams in the league, but are they good enough to win it all? Coach Doc Rivers talked about overcoming the super teams they face. He said the big three in Boston put them together, bam, we won. We had Miami, Golden State, but there are teams that still poke through. Dallas did it, and that's what we're trying to do. Kevin? And with Doc in control, the Clippers, D.A., they'll always be in contention for a title. Thanks so much for that terrific report. Rubio misses. And that's a surprise. He's usually deadly for mid-range. Over in the corner, Williams for the three. And again, no good by the Clippers. And that's the shot he wants. Just a little bit out of rhythm. Ingles in the corner. Inside, DJ dishes to Favors. And that one drops for him. Favors got the lead up to 11 now for Utah. This is what you want, delivering the ball to Favors where he doesn't have to put it on the deck. Jordan the screen. Beverly the pass to Rivers. Williams against Ingles. Right side, Williams. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. So he gets the whistle, contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. And as good as Gallinari can be on the off. The first half comes to a conclusion. Thank you, David, for that interview, and we'll see you back here. And now the start of the second half. Neither side jumping out ahead through the first two quarters. You have to like what we're seeing. And Los Angeles with some changes. Deckers checked in for Golinari. Austin Rivers comes in for Lou Williams. And Teodosic subbed in for Patrick Beverly. DJ is checked in for Utah. Mitchell comes in for Rodney Hood. The heart of the team at the four and the five. Griffin and Jordan. Rivers out there with Teodosic. And it's Decker in at the small four. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. And Rubio kicks to DJ. Ice ball movement by Utah. Gobert dishes to DJ. And there's the feed to Mitchell. The pass to Gobert. Now here's Rubio. Down low, Griffin with the steal. And now the Clippers on the break. Obs it up for Jordan. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Jazz will take it. And where have the shots been coming from tonight? Here's a look broken down by paint, mid-range, and three-point shot attempt so far for Los Angeles. And the one thing that jumps out at me when you look at that shot chart is just how little scoring they get from out above the free throw line extended three point range. They've got to get more points from out high if they want to improve their offense. Jazz leading by eight. Rubio the pass to Gobert. Mitchell kicks to Gobert. Rubio dishes to DJ. They get it back. Now on the play, basket count, so it'll be a three-point play chance. And with his nightly size advantage, no surprise that Gobert is such a phenomenal rebounder. And you look back early in his career, Rudy Gobert, he kind of clogged things up just as much at the offensive end as he did defensively. And I tell you what, though, he's made significant strides, becoming much less of a liability on offense. Reed, he's checked in for Blake Griffin. Utah also making some... And so it's Utah easily grabbing the win. And in the win... A for Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA.
Yo, I kind of feel like Bill Murray in that one movie. What's it called again? Caddyshack? Uh, nah, nah, that's not it. Rushmore. Nah, that's not it, Coach. It's Ghostbusters. Y'all not letting me explain, man. It's that movie where he lives the same day over and over again, and it kind of feels like this road trip. Like, every day is the same. I just can't like Ghostbusters. Oh, Groundhog's Day. Yes. Well, why didn't you just say that? Man, I was trying to think you of it. You talking about Rushmore and Ghostbusters? Who is Bill Murray? The dude from Space Jam. Which was a good movie, by the way. No, that was Billy Crystal. No. That's uh, Deuce Big Man.